Tapper leading at the moment. Amazon trying to put pressure on her. Amazon coming through. Good mid race from Amazon. She's going to get win here. The Nigerian. Amazon takes it from Tapper. 12.64. It's now Chris Nielsen. It's oh, ho, ho, ho. he's had just one failure in this contest. It was his first attempt at 586, and he pops over there with his second attempt. Yeah, great clearance there for Nielsen. 5.86 at the second attempt. And he's one of those athletes who's, who's kept his form. And I think, look how he struggles it. It's a um, really unusual technique, but uh, first one cleared at 5.86. But there is the man of the moment, the Tokyo gold medalist, the world record holder earlier on this summer at the American Trials with 23.37, Ryan Krauser. And in Lausanne last week, through 22.81 for a victory and a new meeting record. Krauser then. Oh, beyond 22 metres. Bang, just pumps it out there. His opposition powerless. And uh, Krauser opened with 21 21.61. Has seen Kovacs go out to 21.68 and momentarily lead, but he snatches back the lead with his throw, 22.39. Yeah, maybe sometimes athletes don't quite fit in one event. I know Gemma's working on her speed. She's been working on her endurance as well, and I think it is her endurance that's pulling her away from the rest of the field, working really hard up to the line there, and it's actually going to be quick. Is it going to be a meet record? Oh... It's just outside the world lead, actually. 2.35.48. Parchman a little slow out of the blocks there. Certainly Devon Allen got by far the better start, but here comes Parchman in the white top. Allen being chased down by the Olympic champion, the fourth placer in the lead still at the moment. Allen trying to come back at him, but no, Parchman gets there. And is so quick off the final barrier, isn't he, on the run in. 13.27 by Hansel Parchment. Well, we know he's in fabulous form. He was only eighth in Lausanne, where he clipped. I think it was hurdle eight in the uh, Swiss city. But he was back on song last week in Paris with that win, 13.03, eight days ago. Quite a lot slower here tonight, but that doesn't matter. 13.26 and another nice victory for uh, Parchment. World Championship silver medalist, as I said a few years back. It was perhaps a bit of a surprise that uh, Holloway lost his first race of the year in that Olympic final and ended up Finishing uh, down uh, with a medal, a bronze medal, I think it was. So they're away clearly, and Kambunji had a great start, but here's Shelly Ann Fraser Price, and this is what she does. She starts well, and then she runs away from the field, taking the victory again so many times. Every time she races this year, considerably under 11 seconds. The wind plus 0.4 meters per second. Again, we've talked about the conditions, perfect conditions there out on the track, 10.81 seconds. And I think it was Kambunji who had a second place, a clear second place it was for Kambunji from Switzerland. And it'll be interesting to see the rest of the times. Did Kambunji get under 11 seconds? Here we go again. Kambunji did have a great start there. First away in lane six, but by step three, it was Shelly Ann Fraser Price. So low to the ground, she really, really drives from those blocks and she really pulls away from the rest of the field by this point. Look how she relaxed she is. And it was Daryl Nita who finished in third position. The, uh, a Kenyan, 26 year old, is a 144 performer this year. He does have a best of 143. Kenya Mal on his shoulder now. Gets his head bobbing and you know when you're in, you're in trouble when that starts happening as Rowden hangs on to third. Giles in fourth, Whiteman coming down the outside. And a really strong one there from Lewalski of Poland down the inside. Is he going to snatch second place? Yes, he does. As the win is taken indeed by Kenya Mal, as expected. Dambery, such a showman. <laughs> Come on, you lot. Clap, cheer, roar, stamp your feet. Let's have some more of it, please. He's as a wonderful relationship with the crowd. Remember his reactions in Tokyo when he realized that he and Barshim didn't have to jump on. 
and could just share the gold. And that, of course, came on the back of his frustration from five years ago when he was injured prior to the Rio Olympic Games when he would have been one of the favourites for a medal. Couldn't compete for the rest of 2016. And it took him a couple of years to get back to full power with that dreadful foot injury. That yeah. was massive, wasn't it? It that, was. <laughs> oh, this is what we like. And he is an athlete who needs the crowd to cheer him up. Saying that, he had no crowd in Tokyo, of course. But he really, really responds to a crowd. And uh, the crowd responds to him as well. It was only his seventh jump. So it's not like he's had a long, tough competition. Compare that with Ivanyuk, who had three... Well, they're cleanly away on the second attempt and de Grasse has got a good start. He's up on Guliev, but in lane seven, Blake is running really well at this stage. Desalu running well also in lane eight. Mitchell Blake did look good in lane two from the beginning, but it is de Grasse from Blake from Tortu. Well, a Canadian one, two. Need at least a second attempt at 5.86 that the bar is at now, Lightfoot. Oh, so those that um, shot again, if you uh, managed not to get dizzy from that one, that was great, almost 80 meters. Well, the crowd are responding. We don't see uh, much from Fidek's face. He's uh, not giving too much away. Yeah, Fidek, 79, 60, saving the best till last. Fourth from left there in the uh, mainly black strip. Also in lane eight, McGregor going strongly around this bend with a headband. Looks quite relaxed, doesn't she? And also having a great run in lane three is uh, Kiel Basinska. She's in fact up on Candice McLeod. Kiel Basinska possibly leading at the moment as they come into the straight. It's very even between these three. Kiel Basinska in three, McLeod in four, and Kartsmarek out in lane six. And it's McLeod who's going backwards now. And uh, Kartsmarek leading on the outside there in lane six. She's gonna take this one by two meters and going away. 50.70 for Kartsmarek there. That, if confirmed, is a new personal best. There is uh, Piotr Malakowski. <laughs> this is unique. I've never seen this before. Being introduced to the crowd just prior to a major international competition with your son right alongside you. Now, this is where the real action is. This is what we all want to see. <laughs> well, he... He looks like he knows what he's doing. Looks well drilled. Any coaches out there? I wonder whether his dad will coach him or not. Oh, and, and it got out of the cage, which is actually an achievement in himself. If I did it, it certainly wouldn't. I think it hit an upright, didn't it? It certainly looked like it had a collision with something, but it, it made the grass, which uh, is good.